Hi, I'm Chanda Cooper from the Richland County Conservation Division and the Richland Soil and Water Conservation District. I'm out at the Pollinator Garden. The Richland Conservation District recently received funding to create this resource to provide habitat for essential pollinators and to educate the community about pollinator conservation. I'd like to introduce you to some of the pollinators that call this garden home. I'll be joined by pollinator garden manager, Anne Marie Johnson. Anne Marie, it's great to see you today. Well, welcome to the garden, Chanda. So glad you could stop by. Thank you. Hey, we're in July now, and I know this is the height of summer gardens everywhere, and we've got all kinds of great things happening here in the garden with pollinators showing up. We have bees and butterflies, beetles, flies, wasps. All of those are our pollinator species. The bees are our biggest, hardest workers, though. So what is a pollinator? It's that creature, insect, or an animal or bird that can carry pollen from one part of the flower to the other to fertilize the eggs, which give us that fruit or nuts or berries. Very important creatures, those pollinators, and we love them here at the Pollinator Garden. During her time at the garden, Anne Marie has observed dozens of species of pollinators at work. Check out these beauties. Leaf cutting bees are important native pollinators. As their name describes, they cut circular pieces of leaves to construct nests in which to lay their eggs. Bumblebees are large pollinators with hairy black and yellow bodies. There are 46 species of bumblebees in North America. Butterflies are one of the most beautiful pollinators. This painted lady butterfly is one of 165 different butterflies found in South Carolina. Sweat bees are one of the smallest bees in North America. They consume nectar and pollen from flowers, and they are also attracted to human sweat and will consume it for its salt content. Wasps are also important pollinators. This scolid wasp is one of more than 4,000 species of wasps found in the United States. These pollinators are important because they help more than three quarters of all flowering plants, including fruit, nut, and vegetable crops we use for food, reproduce. That's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this visit to the Pollinator Garden. This project was made possible by an Urban Agriculture Conservation Grant provided by the National Association of Conservation Districts. Funding for this initiative was provided by the USDA Natural Resources Conservation Service.